Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. And as you can see, um, here is a little bit cold, so the weather, uh, the weather changed. And now we are back uh, to the winter time. There are only two seasons here in uh, central China, it's like summer and winter. And I need to stop just one minute. And uh, today I would like to tell you, uh, there is a big question that um, many, uh, in fact in the West we always uh, have uh, some stereotype about China and also this is a question that uh, something that many foreigners believe and uh, uh, something that we um, that I also uh, used to think about China is that when you are living in China are, are you being watched by some people are there some people watching um, watching you and uh, are there some people looking for where you are is there someone who is looking at what you are doing watching you so let me answer this question today for you. <laughs> so this is something that uh, before I first came to China I always used to believe I'm going to China, people are going to watch over me, it, uh, to look after me and, and look at everything I say, everything I do and uh, how is it really, how is it? Um, so the answer is yes and no, yes and no, yes, people will look at you, people will watch you people will check what you are doing and no they don't check you so much uh, so let me let me answer so the first thing this is something that you, you must do you must know i think many of you know when you arrive in china as a foreigner um, if you are staying in china you need if you are working in china you need to register at the police station of course if you are just visiting you are just coming here as a tourist uh, it doesn't matter you are just register in some hotel and the hotel will take care of everything for you uh, it will be but some hotel uh, they cannot accept you because you are a foreigner now most hotel you can go to most hotel but a few years ago it was not the case the first time when I came to China I remember I traveled on my own and the only place where I was uh, where I was allowed to stay they were the very expensive hotel for foreigners so it was like the five star hotel and I was really uh, pissed off with this you know because I had to pay way more money I had to pay much more and each time I, I wanted to go to a normal hotel, they would tell me, no, sorry, sorry, you cannot, you cannot. Then I had to go to the five-star hotel of the city. Now it's not the same. Now you can go in almost all hotel. But I think uh, if you want to go to some private housing or very small hotels, then you will not be allowed. Because you, uh, you need to have an ID card to go on the, inside the hotel. And these small hotels, they are afraid. If uh, they get a foreigner, um, they could get into trouble and they are not allowed to receive you. So you see, this is a way to check the foreigners. When you are in China, they will check where you, where you are. And in fact, they check everyone. If if you want to buy a train ticket, you need your passport. If you want to stay inside a hotel, um, they will need your passport and they will know the foreigner is inside this hotel. So this is something that you should, uh, that you should know. Um, now this is changing a lot. Now if you want to use the internet, it's the same, you need your passport and uh, as a foreigner it will be really complicated sometimes, so if you want to buy the internet connection, they will also check you uh, this way. So yes, they are checking you this way. Now if you are just uh, living in China, as I'm living in China, uh, are there some people looking at you, are there some people checking, uh, checking on you? Um, the answer is yes, yes, there are some departments that are responsible for the foreigners and uh, they will look at you, they will check on you. Um, in fact, there, are, there will be uh, some departments, they will check, they were responsible for all the foreigners who stay in one district. Uh, there will be someone working at the local police station, at your district police station, and her job, or his job, will be to check on the foreigner. So if you are working inside the university, it's okay, they will, they will know you are living in, uh, inside the universities and they will not annoy you too much. But if you, are, if you have a company, and if you are uh, staying on your own, uh, especially if you are staying in a small city, where you have less foreigner or if you are staying in a city that is a big city like like Changsha where I'm staying but you are living outside a little bit or you are living in the district where there are not so many foreigners then yes they will know exactly where you live they will know your address and maybe they will check you I remember I think I told you this um, I think it was uh, look at this smoke this is something really annoying in China they burn things like this and they are just burning some plastic here so it's just uh, to show you the left ah really disgusting 
and they just burn the waste just like this that's how they do I showed you once this they burn the garbage like this so if you uh, smoke this then it's bad for your health uh, anyway so if you live in the big cities there is no problem there are many foreigners many foreigners who married with Chinese many foreigners who live on their own so they will not check you too much but if you live in the smaller cities or in a place where there are less, less foreigners and you don't live inside the university or inside the school uh, then it's uh, maybe they will come to check you so I remember uh, like one year ago there is my local the, the police guy the policeman in charge of the foreigner he contacted me on the phone and he said I need to come to your home and I was very in, in a very ma bad mood this day and I told him why do you want to come to my to my home you know the address why you want to come to my home just uh, if you have anything I can talk to you on the phone and this guy was a little bit surprised I answered him this way <laughs> and I was really in a bad mood so I almost shot at him and this guy was like sorry 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 I'm not going to come to your home you know? so uh, you see these police guys they are doing their job but at the same time they are very nice and understanding with you and I don't know I, I thought come on you know when I get to trouble I, I had been stolen my e-bike at the time and when I got trouble the police was not here there to help me and then after when they want to check you uh, and check your home then they, they will call you and annoy you like this so I was like uh, <laughs> what's this so yes they will check on you uh, and anyway they know where, where you live they know how to find you now there is another question is uh, uh, are you being watched uh, but maybe I'm not sure I don't think so but maybe you have a file this is something that you should know whenever you get inside China they will, you have a file they know where you are where you go where you stay and yes there is a file about you if you do something wrong in China like for instance uh, you have a car accident or uh, you quarrel and you fight and you go to the police station or someone attacks you uh, inside the nightclub or someone attacks you or you fight you will go to the police stations and you will have a file and this file it will be uh, kept now uh, I think it, they will keep it forever because they have the huge uh, computer computer program and everything that is about you or about uh, Chinese people they will keep it uh, back a few years ago this was not the case this was much better you, um, as long as you as you were to to leave China so you just had to leave China and everything uh, was erased so I know some foreigner for instance I know a guy here he met he was drunk with some other foreigners and he bet some money and he said I'm going to go inside the Walmart at night when the Walmart is closed and I will go through the uh, air pipe so there, is, there was the pipe, the big pipe, and it was the hair evacuation pipe. So he went inside the Walmart at night like a thief. And uh, unfortunately for him, um, unfortunately for him, there, there were some CCTV camera and uh, they, they caught him. So they coached this guy and the police uh, uh, catch him over there, uh, caught him over there, and they send him back to his country. I think he was, uh, <laughs> this guy, he, he's from uh, Australia, you know, I'm not sure about his nationality, uh, from the US or from Australia. Anyway, he came back to China just a few years later and everything was deleted from his profile and he was able to work inside the university, there was no problem for him. You see, so yes, they, they keep, but now it's not the same. I think now they will keep everything about you, they will keep the file. So if you do something bad in China or if you do something stupid like this, then you, you are finished. You cannot go back to China, you cannot work, uh, it will be very tough for you. So yes, they will check on you. And now there is something that you should know also, the neighbor. I always wonder, uh, in each community, you know, the traditional way of living, there is the community district life. So I told you we have no mail mailbox, there is no mailbox in China. So instead, uh, someone from the district will, will come and will, or even the someone from the district will collect the mails for everybody then he will deliver it to everybody you see so this is how it is in china and this guy of course he knows where you live then i often wonder if there is someone who works for the police in each district and maybe uh, give them some information who you are what you are doing what you are saying i am not sure i'm not i'm not sure well what you should know is there are many people in uh, china who belong to the communist party so if really you start uh, doing really something bad so say like uh, maybe you are a religious guy and you start uh, preaching uh, for the love of jesus or whatever then they will know it and they will report you because some people will, will, will look at you 
maybe they are just the normal people maybe they are not really working for the police or anything but they are just the Chinese people that's how they feel they feel like what this guy is doing here is the foreigner is coming here is doing something b bad for the district and many of them belong to the Communist Party and they say hey, it's bad for the country then they will tell and then you have some some issues so but as long as you do good things they know you they know you are the neighbors you are doing good things they are not really working to look after you it's just how the people will feel how they will behave they will look after each other because it's the community with life you see in my district i noticed everybody so many people even i don't know them they know me they know i'm married with a chinese woman they know i have a kid they know i'm french they know my name they know my age they know so many things about me sometimes i met some people say oh you are george uh yes and you are i don't know him i don't know her and they just know me why because they like to gossip or they like to maybe to watch after you and they know you are part of the community and it's it's nice it's nice and at the same time of course it can be a two-edged sword it means on one side it's nice but on the other side maybe if you really say something bad uh, people will repeat it and as a foreigner um, even as a Chinese but as a foreigner you 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 have your foreign face you cannot uh, do anything bad because people will remember it they will remember your face let's say you are in China you live in a small district there are few foreigners then you always go to uh, to see some prostitute people know it they know you are the guy who go outside to see the prostitute because you are the only foreigner here of course they know it then they will tell each other uh, even it will come back to uh, to uh, your uh, your family in law or whatever they know all this uh, let's say uh, uh, you get a fight uh, uh, because uh, you have a car accident and you kick someone everybody will know everybody will know it doesn't mean the people will not support you many of them they will support you because uh, if you live in the district they like you they think you are part of the district you see for me i've been here there so many years and many of the people in the district they like me they appreciate me they think i'm a good foreigner i've been there for six years they remember me from back 2000, uh, 2005 they remember me in 2005 some of them they know i've been there in 2005 they, they really like me uh, so all these guys, uh, if I get some trouble, they will probably stand on my side. And uh, this is how it is in China. So, so the answer to the question is, uh, uh, are you, is there someone looking at you and checking on you? The answer is yes and no. Yes, but uh, it's not uh, not as we see it in the West. In the West, uh, before I first came to China, I was thinking everybody there will be some special police everywhere. Then they will check on me. And then they are they are just there and looking at everything you say. And if you say one wrong word, then they will put you in jail. No, it's not the case. You can say what you want. You can express yourself. Uh, but of course, if you start uh, saying uh, let's riot or let's do something, then of course you have trouble. And uh, I think I will leave you soon. Look at this on the left. I don't know if you see all this dust. All this dust here on the left. They are doing the constructions and you have a lot of dust. Uh, this is how it is because you have so many constructions. So the hair is, uh, there's a lot of dust. And I, I think you saw it here when I was filming. And uh, I will just leave you. So uh, take care everyone and see you next time. See you soon. Thank you for your support. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and follow, follow the channel. And I will talk to you soon.